Hi, I'm Chelsea, a digital product designer here at White House Custom Color, and today I'm going to show you how to create, share, and sell cards with Studio. So we have a variety of options for creating and ordering your cards, and today I'm going to focus on an option that allows you to be a little bit more hands-off with the process and allow your clients to edit and even order their own cards uh, right from your own branded website. To get started, you're going to head to studio.whcc.com. Here, you'll be able to create a new project where you can give it a title and upload your images. I already have a few created over here, so I'm gonna select one of my projects and go ahead and create a graduation announcement. So you can come down and select the occasion that you would like to shop the card designs for, and then scroll through here and select the design you would like to customize. Once you're in the editor, you're able to select the images you would like to use and drag them into the frame. You can zoom and crop and make adjustments to each of those images as well as adjust the text. Here you're also able to adjust the text color, sizes, alignment, and font. There are a variety of colors and layout options that you can choose from across uh, the various card designs. And as you change the colors and the shapes, you can see a preview of the front and the back up in the top bar here. So we'll go ahead and select our color and shape. We also offer a variety of layout options for the back of your card. So you can customize that to fit your client's needs. You're also able to come in and set your card branding by putting your website or your business name here. It creates a nice little marketing piece that gets sent out to all of your clients, friends, and family when they mail out their cards. When your design is ready to go, you can click over to envelopes and select which color you would like, as well as have the option to add a printed design in addition to return and recipient addressing. Once you're ready to go, you can click over to review, and here you'll be able to select which paper type you would like your card to be printed on, and then save that back to your project. Now that your card is saved in your project, you can go over here to share cards and copy this link to send to your client. When you share the link with your client, any card designs that you've created will be saved at the top. And you also have the ability to allow them to create their own cards by connecting a design collection to it. Here you'll see it's showing holiday cards. We we'll want to connect that to graduation collection. So you come over to settings in your project and then you can select from any of the design collections that are available. You also have the option to curate your own collection. You can click new collection and it'll take you over to your design collection settings. Here you can start by adding a collection and we'll give it a name. And we want to base it off of the graduation card collection. So we'll select that and go ahead and start creating our own custom design collection. Here you'll be able to see all of the designs that are available. And you can come through and select your favorites that you would like to offer your clients. Once ready to go, you can go ahead and save that. And then go back to your project and now you'll have the ability to add that to any of the uh, projects that you create. Now that you've applied your custom collection, over on your client's view, they'll be able to see the design that you created as well as the card options that you are providing to them. They can either choose to jump in and start creating their own card designs or review the card that you've created for them and if it's ready to go, they can approve it for order or they have the ability to jump in and make some final adjustments to either add additional details or swap out some imagery to get it to the point that they're ready to mark it for approval and send it back your way. Uh, additionally, if you would like to give your clients the option to make their own card purchases online, over in your studio settings, you can select um, under payments and go through the onboarding process to set up Stripe. 
once Stripe has been set up, you'll have the ability to allow your clients to order online, or you can disable this option. Either selection that you make will apply to all of the projects that you've created. So we're gonna go ahead and enable Stripe here and make uh, save that change. And another step in the process of setting up your online card shop is going over to products and pricing. And here is where you'll be able to set a markup as well as narrow down which paper offering you would like to offer your clients. Now that that's ready to go, we can go back over to our client view. And instead of a proof of order, you'll now see that your clients have the ability to order their own card. So they can see the price, which will reflect your markup. They can select the quantity of cards they would like, and then continue through the ordering process to place their order, which will then be processed and shipped to them with our unbranded drop shipping. As you can see, we have a variety of options for managing your card sales. With Studio, you can offer your clients trendy, unique designs while allowing them to manage edits or even take on creating and ordering their own cards. To try it for yourself, head to studio.whcc.com or check out our website.